I don't know, the love for it kind of just grew. I played a bunch of different sports, like I said, along with lacrosse, but that one kind of just stuck through, you know, middle school, high school, and now college, so. Every year you try and be better personally, but as a team as well, and you try and just keep raising the bar for yourself and your team. And um, I don't know, I think just being motivated, not, and not bad pressure, but Katie putting that pressure of, you know, you're stepping up now, now you're a sophomore, now you're a junior, and now you're a senior, and you have to live up to that kind of standard. And it's a good type of pressure. It's not something that uh, I can't handle or anything. Right. But so just improving and picking my team up with me and just improving along the way, mm -hmm. so. I don't think about it too much during the game. You know, it's not something, I don't let my stats dictate how I play. Um, especially in a game, if I'm having, I don't, you know, I don't say I'm having a bad game because I haven't scored. I don't say I'm having a great game because I scored. It, it, that doesn't dictate how um, I see myself as playing. I look at the whole aspect. I look at the team. I look at my midfield, my defense, and our goalies and stuff. So um, I don't know. I don't really, I find the back of the net because that's what I've learned to do over the past however many years I've been playing, but it's not something that I, it's not my goal at the beginning of the game is to score however many, so. It can't be a distraction to you, especially during a game. It can't be, like even when I scored my 100th goal, I didn't even know that I did it. I didn't even know, my roommate knew before I did that I was coming up close, or my, and my assistant coach and my coach as well, but I had no idea, and I'm glad I didn't know because I probably wouldn't have even been shooting that much. <laughs> you know, it would have been, I wouldn't have wanted that, so. This sort of success doesn't come just from yourself. You can't find success on the field by doing it solo. You need the help of your teammates. So I think being team-oriented and looking for the help of her other attack players when she needs it enables her to be so successful. Um, Caitlin's very... She knows how to motivate people within, like with her actions on the field, that almost speaks louder than words, but then off the field as well. She knows how to pump us up the practice before a game, the day of the game. She knows how to get our heads focused when they may not be. So I think um, very just pulling us all together and getting us pumped for to be successful in the upcoming game. Um, I think for myself, a personal goal is just to play every single game with full heart, you know, full 60 minutes and even practice, like show up to every practice and just, you know, play my hardest because this is, this is pretty much the end of where I, pl uh, where I stopped playing lacrosse. So, um, I don't know, just playing, like I have no regrets, just have, just end the season wherever that may be and looking back on it and saying that I gave it my all.